Hello guys! So before I jump straight into this video, I wanted to show you what exactly we are going to do. So this is my TV in my bedroom. The TV is somewhere around 40 feet away from, the, from my living room. That's where my internet router is. So the Wi-Fi option is not so good for me. So I wanted to wire the whole thing up and get the cable straight from the router to this TV. I'm going to show you how we are going to do this. How we are going to wire up all the cables we have in the walls. But how to do it? We're gonna learn just in a few seconds in this video. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to so don't miss any videos. So I'm just showing you the final result. We're gonna do it by step by step, so don't worry. But I just want to show you what we're, what we're doing. So I installed here a switch, okay? This cable, this cable right here, is coming from the living room for my router, the main internet. Then I have three cables that goes to each bedroom. I think that yeah, this one is for the TV that I showed you last time. So let's jump right into the guide that I will show you step by step how you can wire up all the cables like this one and you will have great internet and good connection all over your house. So this is my router in the living room. And this is the cable that will connect to my TV. It's going through the wall right here, then to my switch and to my TV. So now go and find your rack in your home, the cable closet. Find all the cables that are not connected to any connectors. Those are the internet cables that has been installed while building this house. So you all will have some internet cables that are not connected with connectors because when they build in the house they don't connect it the cables after we find our rack and the cables we can move to the next step my cables are Teldor cat 7 1000 megahertz let's open up our first connectors i bought them in aliexpress and of course i will leave a link in the description below so you can buy them too this is one type of the two connectors I'm showing you in this video. With this type of connector, you will not need a presser. It just connect the cable and close it up very good and that's it. But I really prefer the connector with the presser. This is just my opinion. You can do whatever you want. So let's start to work. First, take any cable and cut it so you can reach to the cables inside. I recommend you guys to buy this presser because this is, it's have a built-in cut. So it will make your life very easy, it's not so expensive, somewhere about $50 and you can get it in any nearby electric store. Inside this fat red cable, there are another 8 cables. We want to expose them all from all the covers they have. I like to separate them by two, then expose them, but I will have each color in a different direction. So you can see that the first couple is orange and white orange, then you will have the blue white, the green white and the brown white. In old cables like Cat5, the white ones are with the same color, white and orange, white and green. But in Cat7, they wanted to make our life a little bit harder, so we just wait. So let's start to wire up this connector. We will start by the four top cables holder and we will start with the most left one. Take the white orange and push it right in the spot. You can even take a flat screwdriver so you can easily push it in. Only the first cable is that hard, you will see in late that the other cables are will fit in easily. After the white orange, you keep up with the orange cable. After the orange cable, you need to take the white green cable. Now this is the important part. After you fit in the white green cable, now you need to fit the blue cable. Not the green, the blue cable. Don't forget it. Don't fit the green cable because it will not work. You will don't have an internet connection. Fit the blue after the white green. We're done with four cables and we're done with the top side. Now we move into the bottom. In the bottom, on the left, you will start with the blue-white cable. 
After you fit the blue-white cable, now it's time for the green cable to join the game. After the green cable, fit the white-brown cable. And now, last and only cable, the brown cable. After all the cables fitted in, just close the plastic and we are moving to our next connector. Ok, so we will start from the beginning. Take a new red cable and separate them to couples by each color. This is the second type of RG45 connector that I will show you in this video. On this connector you will need a presser tool to close the cable in. This little plastic thing is the bridge that comes with the RG45 connector and it will come only if you install a CAT7 cable. In the CAT5, CAT6 you won't see this bridge. So let's start to work. First take your bridge and take the couple of the orange cables. As always we start with the orange. Take the white orange cable and prepare it to insert to the bridge. I recommend you to do it with long cables because it's a little bit hard with short cables. So bend it a little bit left and insert the cable until it passes the bridge and you want it in the most bottom left circle of the bridge. After every cable check that it fits well in the bridge. Now I will let you see it in a little bit fast because it's a lot of cables. Just insert one by one, insert the orange one. Like I said before, heavy cable, check that it fits right in. This one is need to be on the top circle, as you can see here. This is the time for the white green cable. And as you remember last time, now it's the time for the blue one. We are halfway there, we can check that all the cables are fit great, like this. Time for a white blue cable. Only now it's time for the green one to join. Now it's the white brown. And last one, the brown. Ok guys, great job, we finished the first part. Now straight up all the cables in one line. You will need somewhere around 2 or 3 cm from the red cable to feed the connector. You can just feed the connector right to the cable and see how much do you need it. Now take the presser or any cutter and cut the cables right in the end of the bridge. Make sure to cut the cables in a straight line because you need all the cables will be in the same length. Before we are moving to the next step, take your cable and look at all the end of the cables. Make sure that no one is got escape and all the cables are in the same order you insert them to the bridge. Now take your RG45 connector with the face to the ground and just insert the bridge. It can be a little bit annoying because the cables won't go in smoothly. Don't forget it's a CAT7 cable, it's fat cables. So do it slowly, don't rush. After the bridge slipped in, push it till the end so you can see the head of all the cables like here. Now that looks great. Take the presser and let's press the connector. The connector can fit the presser only with face down, so you can't mistake here.
There we go guys, we just installed a new RG45 connector in CAT7 cable and trust me guys, that saves you a lot of money. But it's not only about the money, you have learned here something new, so that's great even more. Ok folks, so let's jump to our final step. Now I don't need if all of you need this part, but I will show you how we can connect the RG45 female connector that is already in our wall. Some of you will have this female type of connector already installed in your house, but some of you, I guess, won't have it installed. So, this is for you guys. This is a brand new, even with the covers on it. So, the first thing you have to do is pull up the covers. Now, dig the Cat7 red cable from the wall. And of course you will need to take the presser again, then cut the cable and then separate them to couples like we did last time. To connect a female connector we need another tool, this one. I will do my best to leave it in the description below, but if not I will tell you the name. I'm sure you can find it in any electric store that near your house. So on the female connector we will start with the orange cable. Put it exactly where I put it in the video. You can insert the cable later with your finger so it attached good and then just mesh it with this tool. On this tool you have a sizzle built in, so when you press the cable you will have to cut it immediately with the press. Now take the orange white cable. The cables go in one after the other to the left. You can see here it fit perfectly. Now take the tool, press and cut and that's it, to the next cable. It's so easy on the female connector. Yeah, I wish females would be easy too. So now the green cable, put it on the spot, press and cut, then to the next one. After the green cable, you will fit the white green cable. And yes, I know it's different from the male connector, that's how the female goes. After the white green, we are going to the top section, right in the top of your orange, you will put the brown one. After the brown cable, the white brown goes in. Then the blue cable And last and only cable, the blue white So fast and easy here Ok, after you fit all the cables, just put the female connector back to the wall Finally guys, the most easy parts and the most fun part. Give your switch a power supply and just connect all the cable connector guys and we in seconds have a great internet all over the house. It feels so satisfying to be in the end of a great project you did in your house and in a sec you will enjoy it all over your house. Well done guys. That's it guys, take any external CAT7 cable and connect it to your device and you will have a great internet. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to not miss any new video.